Hello, I'm Amber Stoneberg and this is Accounts Payable Setup Options. In this session, I'm going to explain how to set up the module to define basic functionality, reporting, and history retention settings for Accounts Payable Operations. Expand under Modules, Accounts Payable, Setup, and Accounts Payable Options. On the first tab, the main tab, we have our first option called Accounts Payable Divisions. Enabling this option will allow us to define more than one reporting and GL posting group for vendors in division maintenance. If deselected, we have to define only one set of divisions for account numbers. Aging categories. Our choices here will affect how invoice due dates will display and how the aging buckets will appear on the various aging reports and inquiry screens. The choice for days allows us to maintain a set number of days in in each aging bucket, whereas if we were to change to a month category, the system assumes a calendar month. Setting back to days allows us to change the different aging buckets to what is necessary for our business process. The default invoice display setting here will control how the default display for open and paid invoice history within Vendor Maintenance Invoices tab looks like. Choices are alphanumerical invoice number, oldest to newest invoice date, or newest to oldest. You can also optionally check to hide invoices with a zero dollar balance from the inquiry and from the reporting views. Turn on sales tax reporting if there is a need to have Mass90 calculate and report sales tax for vendor transactions. The current fiscal period and year for posting transaction is set once when setting up accounts payable and should not be changed directly through the options, but instead will be incremented automatically via the period and processing task. Select the 1099 reporting checkbox if your company prints and tracks 1099 information for vendors. As with the current fiscal period and year, the default 1099 calendar year should not be manually changed here but will be automatically incremented through the 1099 form printing process. Integration with other modules. There are two modules that we can set optional integration for, General Ledger and Bank Reconciliation. It is suggested that AP is integrated to post to GL at all times, the only exception being a brief period of time when setting up a new company to go live. Bank reconciliation is also optional if installed and will allow you to post payment transactions for bank statement reconciling if selected. On the additional tab, we have options for posting certain types of detail to general ledger. This defines whether invoice and check registers post to general ledger in detail or in summary format. Summary will simply list the dollar totals per batch of transactions whereas detail format will post each separate document number such as invoice number, check number, and the vendor and the total amount of the individual transaction. Days to retain paid invoices has a minimum of zero days and a max of 999 days. Invoices paid on or before the number of days entered at this field are purged from the system automatically during period and processing. We recommend setting it to a max and reducing only if you feel a need to. Select either earned or lost as a setting for when to track and post discounts taken or lost to the general ledger. The corresponding general ledger account is set up in division maintenance for discounts earned or lost. Apply changes to remit to address field. This setting will control how and when changes to the vendor's main address will update any remit to address on file. If no is selected, no updates are performed. If yes is selected, the remit to address is automatically updated to reflect the changes to the main address. And if prompt is selected, the system will prompt you with a dialog window and ask you if you would like to make the changes. The format for posting comments to General Ledger control the level of comment detail from the various types of AP transactions. These can include header and detail comments, as well as supporting information such as vendor number, vendor name, and transaction number.
On the Entry tab of Setup Options, you can enable batch processing for the AP Invoice Data Entry and Manual Check Entry tasks to allow users to create, maintain, and update their own set of transactions throughout the day, as well as setting the next batch number to be selected. If using multiple bank codes and bank accounts in the system, select a default bank code to use in Manual Check Entry, Check Printing, and Payment History Inquiry. The default here will be A until changed. Selecting the default bank code to last bank code used checkbox can pose problems with daily data entry if a bank code that is rarely used is used in one set of transactions and then selected. Selecting the default bank code to last bank code used checkbox can pose problems with daily data entry if a bank code that is rarely used becomes the default. So be careful about checking this box. Select the increment next check number when changed during printing will cause the next check number in bank code maintenance to be incremented from the last number used if the check number in manual check entry is changed during the quick print process. Select the display warning when past discount due date to display a warning message if you select an invoice with a past discount due date in check maintenance or manual check entry. If you calculate sales tax and AP and PO invoicing tasks, go ahead and calculate sales tax and AP data entry here. If your company would like to track sales tax calculation inside the AP and PO systems, this checkbox should be enabled. If the expense freight separately checkbox is selected, the freight expense GL account defined in division maintenance will be used to post freight entered in on invoices. If this option is deselected, freight will be posted to the vendor's GL expense account. The printing tab options define how journals and registers print during AP transaction updates. Invoice registers can be sorted by vendor name if selected or, by default, sorted by alphanumerical transaction number. You can select to print the expense distributions on the check register or simply just the check number and the check total. If wanting to print the GL account descriptions on the registers, you can select to print either full or partial. Partial will print the first 30 characters of the description, full to print the entire description, or you can select none at all. Selecting to print the AP tax journal and the tax totals on registers in detail will list dollars by each tax code, or if deselected, will print in summary format which will list tax totals by entire tax schedule. Enabling the Always Print Extended Stub Report will force a separate remittance advice to print out for each check printed from the system. Leaving this option disabled will only prompt the system to print an extended stub when the invoices paid on the check exceed the number of stub lines that can comfortably fit on the check. Options on the History tab determine how long to retain historical information for vendors and transactions. Vendor Audit options allow us to track all modifications to vendor maintenance, none at all, or certain types of changes such as deletions, additions, and changes to existing vendor accounts. If tracking in summary format only, the corresponding vendor audit report found under the AP report menu will display one line of information of the change. The change includes simply the vendor number, date of change, and the user code. Detail format will also display the old and the new value of the change. Select a minimum of two years or a max of 99 years to retain vendor history. This includes period to date, year to date, and prior year summary totals, and select whether to include sales tax and freight in those totals or not. The years to retain 1099 payment history also has a minimum of two years and a max of 99 years. Selecting to track detailed invoice slash payment history allows us to see the expense detail of each transaction rather than a simple summary of transaction number in total. 
You can also determine whether comments will be included in that detail history or not. These options can be maintained at any time in the system as needed. It is a good idea to review these settings on a regular basis to accommodate any changes in your normal business processing. Thank you for joining me for Accounts Payable Setup Options. I'm Amber Stolberg. Thank you.